Oh, pardon my French. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I, I, I feel like a podcast monster. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, call me uh, inept or call me brilliant. Of course, I think this makes me brilliant, but let me tell you my story here, because because you're gonna say I, I, I you know, I mean you're you're gonna just say it's that's right, ridiculous, ridiculous. But I think this is a reason I'm brilliant. <clears throat> Blank piece of paper with the story in my mind. Somehow through multiple things. You ever have a song that comes up like in like 25 different places in your life, like all at once? Well, for me, it's three. Jackson 5, where the Jackson 5. Uh, is it I Want You Back? Is that what it's called, George? Go to the facts checks. Get back to me. All right. I was watching this and, and I, I just... You know, finally, this song was everywhere, and I finally pulled out my, um, uh, let's see, what's the correct, proper app? It's, uh, it's not SoundHound, which doesn't work. It's Shazam! Shazam is the good app for identifying songs. SoundHound, sorry, I didn't find them all. So I got, I, I was there at the store. I said, what's this song? And I pulled out SoundHound, and it didn't know. And then Shazam! My friend pulls out Shazam! And then it had found the song. So if you want a good no, I, I'm not getting advertising for this. I'm just acting like it. If you want to know what the song is, that song, just have it. You need to hum it. You need to grab it. What is Shazam? So I Shazammed, if that's a verb, this this song, I Want You Back by The Jackson 5. I find it on YouTube, and here's this black kid with these, these old black guys, and it's Fro City, I'm telling you. And they're singing this song, and it's, and it's awesome. I mean, I'm a piano player, a musician. My grandma, uh, I mean, she was... Why? Well, the newspaper said she plays like an N word, and it, and she took. She said, "I I always took it as a compliment." I, and, and I mean, because like she like I grew up with black piano music in the house. My 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 dad grew up with it as a kid. So anyhow, I, I mean, I love this groove. I mean, it's just it's groovy. You know, technically speaking. I mean, we're back to the sixties and seventies. So this this the little black kid with this fro is just belting it out. On the microphone. Now, I'm not assuming. I, I, I'm not an assumptive person. I'm what they might call unassuming. So you could walk up to me and tell me that your name is Donald Trump Jr. And I would never even think that you could possibly be related to the president because I don't make assumptions. I, there's a lot of people with the name Trump. Of their, I mean, I assume <clears throat> anyway that there are. I mean, no, fa no, no family has the only family with the last name unless it's made up. So it's very, very likely that family is multiple. So I, would, I don't assume stuff about people. So I see the Jackson 5 and it never occurs to me at, at all. It never crosses my mind. Like I say, call me inept. That there could be this, this other famous musician. <coughs> pardon my French again. No, that my, I need to hold on. I need before I finish this story. I need more of this monster. Mm. 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 Ah. It never occurs to me that there could be a famous singer with a last name Jackson. So, although I did assume that all the the the, the, the guy you know the, the performers in this video all were from a Jackson family. So I'm watching this kid belt this out on the microphone and I look at him and I'm going, you know, only that one Hispanic kid that sang uh, that, that, that Christian song that got so famous, uh, My Redeemer Lives with his cousin. That's the only other kid that I've seen in my little world that has that much talent. I, I'm just thinking, I'm going from the 60s, 70s, there's only one musician I know in the world that could ever possibly have the talent that that kid has as a kid. That's got to be Michael Jackson, I th I'm thinking. And then I said to myself, you know, it looks like Michael Jackson's eyes. And I said, oh my goodness, the name Jackson 5 probably came from Michael Jackson. And lo, of course, I researched and found that I was right. It was Michael Jackson singing. Now, does that make me inept? 
or does that make me brilliant? I mean, I mean, you know, I'm an 80s kid. When I when I went to Pizza Hut, you know, Michael Jackson was all over the walls and 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 the the the, the jukebox. And I just he was there. I I, I never I mean, I was a kid and I hadn't yet figured out that everyone's a kid at one point. Just so I didn't I didn't know Michael Jackson as a kid and I was white. So, you know, white men can't jump. We can't really dance or sing much either. Uh, although Marshall Mathers has broken that stereotype, thankfully. But I didn't really know much about what was going on. Uh, you know, just good, awesome music was in the house, but I wasn't a musical expert. I didn't grow up like that. And so I, I guess it's my lack of history. I didn't put it together that that would have been Michael Jackson. But not knowing any of that, I identified the talent. So uh, now in my book, that makes me brilliant. And uh, think about this. How many people, how many people would have looked at the young Michael Jackson and said that he has the talent to become the Michael Jackson that the world knew as an adult? How, how many people recognize talent? I mean, I... I mean, you know, Jesus said a prophet is not welcome in his hometown, which is not a rule for the prophet, by the way. It's a curse against the town that doesn't recognize him. God said in the Old Testament, I will raise up a prophet from among your brothers and you will listen to him. But how many people, how many of us, you, people you know, dismiss good talent? We, we, we just assume, whoa, you know, they, they know me, so they couldn't possibly be talented. They couldn't possibly have a good idea worth mentioning. How many people are like that? So there you have it. I'm brilliant. Proven by my ignorance. I, I pinned Michael Jackson without knowing what he looked like as a kid. And uh, I, I did know. I did know that, that he had, had that he sang uh, Rock and Robin as a kid. I knew that. But I, I, So now I'm rediscovering all this. I, You know... Recognize talent. I'm 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 in the process of going through this watch stand pray and I'm writing these articles and I'm having trouble writing them with quality and writing them on time and quality is more important because I, I I got this goal of finishing 365 uh, writings within three months and they've got to be good in quality and I'm I'm going through all this and I'm just in the in the middle of keeping my regular life I I just am so thankful. For the work that Michael Jackson did, it inspires me. Now listen, all that fake news about him, uh, we're not going to go there. Follow the money. That's what my father always told me. Follow the money. The number one entertainer in the world to this day was a black man. And coming from a family of white entertainers myself, I say, of course. So I'm going to get to the point. Even after he has been dead almost nine years, Michael Jackson remains the most popular entertainer of all time and the most popular household name second to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus made things out of wood, including our salvation. Rather than listing acclaimed artists through the centuries, look at people who inspire us to live with more energy. Mao Zedong was wrong. No gun barrel can stop the masses when their hearts are strengthened by hope. Let your artwork blossom. Whatever skill you have, cultivate it, prune it, feed it, strengthen it, do whatever to let it flourish. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.